this is my uh, it's just a pan servo um, I've 3d designed and printed another pod thing uh, so is this GWS 360 or whatever it is to actually fit in there um, it's holding with just two screws up the top I'm trying to hold, I'm trying to hold the plane here because I've got the wings fixed anyway so all that is, um, that is actually screwed directly onto the bit that sticks out um, that you put your servo horn on or control horn or whatever it is so that, that screws onto there perfectly, that little mount anyway, so that's there um, as you can see it from the top now the other thing I've been having problems with is I can't get all of this on shot now, but anyway, is the V-tail. Um, the vector, the control surface when I go down, obviously um, when I push forwards on the stick, these need to go down, uh, which worked perfectly, but when I pulled up, you know, it was perfect anyway. But when I actually put it into stabilise, when I lift the plane up like that, the control surfaces were actually coming up. Now I, I spent a, lo a long long time trying to figure it out. Now I found out that you've got, I think it's motor 1 and motor 3. So you're using elevator and rudder for the two control surfaces. All you have to do is just re reverse them and that's it. And then you may have to actually reverse it in your radio so it controls the elevator the right way, uh, but it's done. I've reinforced the canopy. All I've done is put some of these um, carbon tube, uh, carbon, or whatever you call them. They're about one mil wide by about three mil high, I think it is, uh, because that was going to break. It ain't now. So that goes on there like that. But you can't see it very well. Um, I've also got when I can get it in shot these are the big nose 13 antennas um, I urge everybody to go and uh, drop Simon an email uh, just get one of these to try it because they far beat the fat shark and everything else that I've tried I know this is 1.3 or 1.2 but you know um, with these things you don't get any multipath or very very little multipath in um, I'm really really surprised at them so drop Simon an email tell him I said and on this side although the ground is actually bent down at the minute we've got the Easy UHF with a semi rigid sort of a dipole um, none of these components are actually held in, they're not glued in because they're so tough to get out I really don't know if I need to um, I think I may put a piece of tape over them but apart from that uh, moving on to the back which I haven't got on at the minute I'm going to be using a 9x6 master air screw I think this is actually a nine and a half by six, so I'm going to cut um, half inch, quarter inch off either side. So that's going to go on there. Um, the skid on the bottom is a 3D printed one, and that's it. Oh. Also on here, uh, I've got a 3D printed bungee hook. Uh, the reason being is, you've seen my attempts at hand launching everything, which is pretty bloody crap. So I've got a bungee launcher, and hopefully that's going to cure it. Probably not. <laughs> on this hat. Um, I've reinforced it with these carbon spars to stop it from you know, bending but these uh, things are held on with these screws there so you do the screws up 
and you, but you always have to carry a bloody screwdriver or whatever, you know, every time you go flying, and it's just bloody annoying. I haven't flown it yet, but anyway. Now this was inspired by um, another YouTube um, user, which I'll put the description down here. Where are we? There, somewhere. Um, and he put a catch on the hatch. Hey! <laughs> so what I've decided to do is take it one further, get rid of them. Now I've got these pieces here, which are 3D printed. So you've got four pieces. And what you need is a catch, a hatch catch. Which what you do is, you put the hatch catch at the back, like that. And then you get, is it that piece? Yeah, you get that piece. And what you have to do is cut a 2mm piece off the edge there, so as that fits nice and flush, flush with the, uh, the plywood. So that goes in there. Now there's two holes there, which are going to be used for reinforcement with what's known as cocktail sticks, like that and then you glue it all into position so that's that's step number one so I'll do that now and I'll come back and show you the rest put that side on um, I've reinforced it with some uh, cocktail sticks down there so that's all done now and also two cocktail sticks down there and on this end um, I'll put the plate on the end and all I did was, after I glued it in, I got a hot screwdriver and just bodged it straight down there. And I missed. <laughs> but anyway, it's in place. So they're three mil carbon dowels, um, or carbon rods. You may have to actually just cut a piece. That's actually for, no, anyway, whatever. You may actually have to cut some, um, cut a piece out because it's actually set for three mil. Um, but probably two and a half mil is more realistic but anyway anyway so that bits on there so I've got to move on to the fuselage now so as you've seen I've already got this piece glued on here so what I've done is I've put the other piece with the two holes sorry the four holes you've got two for the carbon rods to go through here and you've also got two for the reinforcement cocktail sticks to go in so you put that on there like that and then you line the back up and then you push that down and what you do is you mark it out along here and then you cut a piece out basically for that to sit in like that. Now when I glue that in place what I'm going to do is put the, I can't see I haven't got my glasses on, so I put that in there first and then butt that up to there and then I can glue that in exactly that place so as that will fit in there that will slot, it, slot into there first I'm crap at explaining stuff you get the message <laughs> that's all done uh, what I've done with the front is um, I've got this screwdriver and I put it in the hole like that at an angle um, bodged it in like that and well I've heated it up with my blow lamp bodged it in at an angle like that so that can then go at an angle sort of thing in there so that's in there and then that goes down like that and then if I can show you the back I just wish I had a bigger work area and on the get out of the way on the back here You'll see that I've um, cut the piece out. Can I zoom in a bit? Not much. I've got no more space on here, sorry. <laughs> so I've cut the back piece out. If I take that out again, I've cut a slot out for that to go in. And I've slot that in there, and then I've slot that in there. And I push that down there and pop that in place. There you go and that ain't coming out again so that's all nice and neat the front 
all nice and neat, no screws necessary. Now if you want the drawings for all these parts, I'll, uh, I'm going to pop them on Thingiverse. So everyone's happy. And basically that's it. There's nothing else to do on it now. Um, the only thing I've got to finish off is the vector configuration and then it's all ready for its maiden. Got a bit of gluing to put all the wires in place and everything but apart from that yeah it's all done. It's ready for its maiden. If this weather clears up I actually got, I was going to get everything ready to take the um, the FX61 out this morning so I got everything ready because it said that the rain was going to come at about 10 o'clock and it came at 6 o'clock so unfortunately I haven't been able to get out again job done I've done a pan and tilt sorry <coughs> what dick arse I've done a single, uh, sing f L. So now that just slides. What I've. F bollocks. I've put the piece in like that, and I've just heated this screwdriver up, and I've put it in. Oh, f I've been looking at the hatch. Um, now these things. F oh, f sake, two. <sighs> this was actually inspired by um, uh, for <coughs> now. One last thing. I'm stupid. One last thing. If 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 I could only speak.